Welcome back, everyone, to another Magic the Gathering Market Movers, and today is July 8th, 2024. And before I jump into things here, as per usual, I want to go over the affiliate links in my description. I do have a Dragon Shield discount code as well as a TCG Player affiliate link, and any purchase that you make using those links, I get a small bonus from it, and it really helps support the channel. Now, here are my lovely Patreon supporters. You guys are the reason why I can make content like this on a daily basis, so thank you all very much. With that being said, let's get moving. Starting our losers list off here today with Timber Protector, and this is the borderless version of this card from Commander Lord of the Rings. It's down 5.67% from $21.87 to $20.63 for its market price, and its average price is $21.82. Tamiyo Inquisitive Student from Modern Horizons 3. This card is down 7.70% from $25.72 to $23.74 for its market price, and its average price is $31.03. Serum Visions from the Secret Lair Commander, Heads I Win, Tails You Lose deck. It's down 7.83% from $14.68 to $13.53 for its market price, and its average price is $11.11. .11. Tiny Bones the Pit Pocket from Outlaws of Thunder Junction, and this is the promo pack copy down 9.24% from $14.61 to $13.26 for its market price, and its average price is $14.61. Kozilek the Broken Reality from Modern Horizons 3. This Eldrazi is down 9.94% from $13.48 to $12.14 for its market price, and its average price is $15.30. Vorinclex, Voice of Hunger from the Secret Layer series, down 10.02% today from $12.77 to $11.49 for its market price, and its average price is $14.88. Emmercool The World Anew from Modern Horizons 3, this Eldrazi is down 11.07% from $23.21 to $20.64 for its market price, and its average price is $28.08. Thought Seeds from Outlaws of Dunner Junction Breaking News. This card is down 12.29% from $8.87 to $7.78 for its market price, and its average price is $8.59. Spawn Bed Protector from Commander Modern Horizons 3, another Eldrazi card down 12.35% from $11.17 to $9.79 for its market price, and its average price is $10.86. Next up is Suter Fiery Jotun from Universes Beyond Assassin's Creed. This card is down 14.19% from $10 to $8.59 for its market price, and its average price is $9.49. And our final loser here is another Assassin's Creed card, Achilles Davenport, and it's down 17.39% from $10.64 to $8.79 for its market price, and its average price is $9.80. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Constant Mists from Stronghold. This card is up 9.50% from $17.27 to $18.91 for its market price, and its average price is $18.94. And this card is being played mostly in the Commander format and some new Commanders from Modern Horizons 3 like Omo Queen of Vesuva, as well as the Necrobloom. The next winner on our list is Roaming Throne from the Lost Caverns of Ixalan. This card is up 10.31% from $30.56 to $33.71 for its market price, and its average price is $31.73. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $33.43 for its market price, and its average price is $38.33. The promo pack copy is sitting at $31.93 for its market price, and its average price is $34.25. And the borderless copy is sitting at $25.21 for its market price, and its average price is $26.02. And this card is being played mostly in the commander format in some Eldrazi commanders like Zuladok Void Gorger, as well as Azlas the Swelling Scourge and Ulek Fuse Atrocity, both of which are from Modern Horizons 3. And the next winner on our list is Edward Kenway, and this is the showcase copy from Universes Beyond Assassin's Creed. This card is at 15.49% from $34.66 to $40.03 for its market price, and its average price is $47.72. 
and the regular copy is sitting at $24.37 for its market price, and its average price is $33.50, and the foil etched copy is sitting at $30 for its average price, and the textured foil copy is sitting at $121.87 for its average price. Now this card is seeing some play in the commander format in some new commanders from Assassin's Creed like Ezio Auditore de Ferenci. The next winner on our list is Basim Ibn Ashak, and this is the showcase copy from Universes Beyond Assassin's Creed. This card is up 16.94% from $22.85 to $26.72 for its market price, and its average price is $26.97. And the regular copy is sitting at $12.81 for its market price, and its average price is $15.88. And this card is being played mostly in the commander format in some new commanders from Assassin's Creed, like Ezio, Adatori, Da Ferenzi, as well as Edward Kenway. Next up on the list is Tree of Perdition from Eldritch Moon. This mythic is up 18.35% from $13.13 .13 to $15.54 for its market price, and its average price is $17.58. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $18.08 .08 for its market price, and its average price is $24. And the Jumpstart 2022 copy is sitting at $15.59 for its market price, and its average price is $20. This card is seeing some Pioneer play in decks like Rakdos Midrange, as well as Rakdos Aggro. However, it's also been played in the Commander format in new Commanders from Assassin's Creed like Ezio Auditore da Ferenzi. And the next winner on our list is a land from Murders at Karlov Manor, Raucous Theater, and this is the Borderless copy up 26.08% from $7.90 to $9.96 for its market price, and its average price is $9.18. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $6.24 for its market price, and its average price is $6.50. The promo pack copy is sitting at $5.23 for its market price, and its average price is $5.28. And the regular copy is sitting at $7.39 for its market price, and its average price is $7.91. And this card is being played in the modern format in modern decks like Jun Saga, Mardu Energy, Jund, as well as Rakto Scam. And the next winner on our list is another land from Murders at Karlov Manor, Elegant Parlor, and it's up 35.18% from $10.63 to $14.37 for its market price, and its average price is $13.49. And the pre-release copy is sitting at $4.74 for its market price, and its average price is $20. The promo pack copy is sitting at $105.53 for its average price, and the borderless copy is sitting at $21.70 for its market price, and its average price is $24.98. This card is being played a ton in the modern format in that Boros Energy deck as well as Ruby Storm and even Jeskai Control. This card, however, is also being played in one of the newer commanders from Assassin's Creed, Altair Ibn Lahad. Next up on the list is another Assassin's Creed card, Brotherhood Regalia, and it's up 36.81% from $5.27 to $7.21 for its market price, and its average price is $8. And this card is also being played in the commander format in commanders from Assassin's Creed, like Ezio Auditore da Ferenzi, as well as Edward Kenway. Next winner on our list is a card from Battle Bond, versus The Veiled. And it's up 62.51% from $9 to $14.61 for its market price, and its average price is $20. And the Battle Bond promo copy is sitting at $11.33 for its market price, and its average price is $79.64. And the version on the list is sitting at $13.37 for its market price, and its average price is $25. This card is also being played in some new commanders like Ezio Auditore da Ferenzi, as well as Altair Ibn Lahad. And our final winner on our list today is a previous bulk rare from Planner Chaos. It's Detrivor, and it's up 64% today from $2.25 to $3.69 for its market price, and its average price is $4.32. Now we did get some Goyf cards from Modern Horizons 3, and one commander that we got in Modern Horizons 3 is actually utilizing this card in the commander format, and that commander's name is Dissa the Restless. And now we're going to be taking a look at the biggest foil winners of the day, and we are going to start that list off here with... Bottle Cap Blast from Fallout. This foil is up 37.74% from $3.63 to $5 for its foil market price, and its average price is $4.23. 
Passive Ibn Ashak from Universes Beyond Assassin's Creed, this foils at 39.49% from $8.56 to $11.94 for its foil market price, and its average price is $15.06. Next up is a Judgment Old Frame Foil Hapless Researcher, and it's up 39.66% from $3.48 to $4.86 for its foil market price, and its average price is $2.98. Next foil here is Windrake from 7th edition. This foil is up 41.60% from $2.62 to $3.71 for its foil market price, and its average price is $8.10. Next up is Edward Kenway, and this is the Showcase Foil from Assassin's Creed, up 45.32% from $31.33 to $45.53 for its foil market price, and its average price is $78.36. Next foil here is Mary Reed and Anne Bonny, and this is the Borderless Foil from Assassin's Creed, up 47.33% from $3.74 to $5.51 for its foil market price, and its average price is $4.00. Next foil here is Cassandra Eagle Bear, another Assassin's Creed foil up 48.55% from $3.79 to $5.63 for its foil market price, and its average price is $4. Next foil is Brotherhood Regalia from Assassin's Creed. This foils at 57.03% from $4.91 to $7.71 for its foil market price, and its average price is $8.56. Eagle Vision, and this is the foil etch copy from Assassin's Creed, up 61.96% from $1.63 to $2.64 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5. And our final foil winner of the day is Fiery Islet, and this is the borderless foil from Assassin's Creed, up 62.15% from $4.28 to $6.94 for its foil market price, and its average price is $5.25. Thank you all so much for taking time out of your day to watch my Magic the Gathering Market Movers. It really, really means a lot to me. If you guys could, could you hit that like button down below so this video does get shared into YouTube's algorithm so that way my channel can continue to grow on YouTube. Also, let me know in the comment section below what your favorite mover of the day was, which cards most surprised to see on the list, and which cards you actually own that showed up on the list today. I do read every single comment that you guys leave, so please leave them there down below for me to read. Also, I make these videos from Monday to Friday, so I will be back again tomorrow for another Magic the Gathering Market Movers. And until then, please enjoy the rest of your day, and take care. Being a patron will help me produce more market movers and add to the funds that I will use for my random buys and also to my coffee fund because I drink a lot of coffee for these videos. And here you can see a link below in the description that will give you all the tiers and what you get in each tier. So I hope you guys click and think about joining. And with that, I'll see you next video. Think about uh, supporting the channel in that way. If not, subscribe, like, leave a comment, and I will see you again in the next video.